human against machine. The classic duel has now been enriched by a new discipline, badminton. At the Flanders Mechatronics Technology Centre in Leuven, Belgium, Wim Simons and his team use a software that will analyse the energy consumption of this badminton robot. The engineers will use these results to determine the energy guzzlers of the system. From an initial analysis, we learned that the linear motor is consuming most of the energy. And as has been shown in the model-based analysis we conducted, the main energy that is being consumed is consumed by the wires in the electric motor, which are encapsulated in this block, and by the linear guides. This study is part of the European research project Estomad, and its aim is now to adapt the software tool for industry. The Belgian company Picanol produces weaving machines, and Christophe Rolstretter wants to find out whether the new software tool would also help reduce the energy consumption of their products. We have discovered that the speed of the cam followers is crucial. If we make a design modification and reduce the velocity of those cam followers, we estimate that we can reduce the losses by 10 to 15 percent. For the badminton robot, this figure was even higher. 50 percent of the energy could be saved with the help of the new software tool. In the future, this innovative approach will help engineers to cut down the energy costs for their products. And they can even do this before a machine is built. This would help the industry to produce not only greener, but also more competitive machines. It's eco-innovation at its best.